YouTube, we are back. <laughs> Come on, babe. what's going on it's your girl i'm back i finally made it to milden hall so yeah we're just um getting some gas right now we're at the shop at <laughs> obviously i think y'all do that like literally the shop is right there like where it says express so yeah i'm pointing the wrong direction it's like over there for y'all but it's really over there for me um so yeah we're at the shop at right now we're just getting some gas before we head out um we're going to pick up our car we're going to go to the BX at Lake and Heath and run a couple other errands. So I'll keep y'all updated, let y'all know what's going on. And um, Malik's over there if you guys can see him. I don't know if you guys can see him more. I think you guys can see him now. So yeah, Malik's walking to go pay for gas. Um, but yeah, so we made it here like on what the 16th and we got out of quarantine on the 26th. And ever since that day, oh my goodness, it has been hectic. So many things have been going on. We just been so, so, so busy. So that's why I haven't had time to come on here and like, you know, show you guys what's been going on. Um, excuse my no makeup look. Like, <laughs> this is what it really has come to. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated. Hey, just ignore my skin and my face. The water is like very different out here. Like, it's very harsh. So for anybody that's watching this and y'all are like, you know, the Americans complain about, I'm sorry. Like, the water is just very harsh. It is. Like, my skin changed drastically and I, I don't like it. Like, <laughs> I don't like it at all. So I might have to get a water filter or whatever for like the shower and stuff and um see if i can get one for like the sinks and stuff because i'm primarily wash my face like you know with the sink i don't wash my face in the shower but if i have to i will <laughs> so yeah um that's really it that's really it. i have no complaints i love it here it's great out here we're at raft milden hall we love lake and heat though shout out to y'all <laughs> we love it there um the bx is way bigger everything is bigger at lake and heat um but I love it here at Melvin Hall because it's like small and like really quaint and like everybody like knows everybody so we're starting to figure out you know who everybody is and stuff like that so it's kind of great um and also we are on the waiting list for um on base housing at Lake and Heath though I think we're like number something we're in the 50s so it's gonna be a minute it's gonna be a minute but we did find a place stay tuned for that I'll do like a little a little tour of that So we kind of got lost in like the quarantine and transitioning and trying to move, trying to figure things out. And you know, we kind of got lost in England, you know? Yeah. Just got lost in the culture, got lost in the food. Speaking of culture, my wheel is on this side. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> right now, we're here to talk to you guys about TLF, our experience with that, our experience with um, coming over here, like the flight and all that good stuff, because I feel like we just kind of like stopped and never gave you guys an update. So, we touched down in London. Uh, we were, what? And we were at London, London Heathrow. Heathrow. I don't remember what time it was. I just know that it was early, early, early in the morning. And we got here and we were still like sleepy eyed and we're all like trying to stay up because we're still on like Illinois time. Link sponsor um, got us, you know, somebody to come and pick us up. I think it was, I can't remember the name of the taxi service, but if I remember, I was at them, tagged them, whatever. They were great, they were lit. Great guy, funny, told us, uh, if you have any questions, ask. But for right now, yes, we have cows. Yes, we have sheep. And what else did he say? And we drive on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> and that's what he told us. So yeah, really funny, really great guy. Taxi 
driver picked all of us up. There were two other uh, security forces members in the car as well, so that was pretty cool. Um, well, we got to make you know some connects or whatever, even though they're not in Bravo, they're because they're in something else. Alpha, right? Alpha. Okay, right. So um, yeah, we got here. It was about a two-hour drive, I would say. It was it was heavy traffic, so I I believe it was two hours. I was the last person to go to sleep in the taxi, and like everybody was like this, you know, oh, and, like they were. <laughs> You know, it was that hurt sleep, like, oh, like, shoot, you know. So, um, I try to stay up because I'm one of those people, like, I don't know where I'm at. I'm unfamiliar, you know, with everything that's going on. But at the last second, everybody else was, like, doing that hurt sleep, and here I am. You're done. I said, wait, hold on. Hold on. What's going on? So, I, yeah. I snored and woke myself up, and I looked to my left. She was just staring at me. Oh, man, like, like, don't you embarrass me. <laughs> don't you embarrass me. <laughs> Um, so we got here. I kind of figured that we were here because obviously the sign said Milden Hall and I saw like, you know, barbed wire and <laughs> I figured we're here. Middle of nowhere, barbed so, wire. Yeah. It's a base. Yeah, I figured that we were here. <laughs> Um, once we got on the base, I kind of like, you know, like nudge bleep, like, hey, hey, we're here, we're here. So, um, I saw him like hit that corner and then next thing you know, we were here, we're rolling in and I'm just like, and he's like telling us, the driver's telling us that like he lives in Back Row. Back Row's like not that far, it's literally a hop skip away. He was like, you know, it's really small, quaint, quiet, you know, all that good stuff. And he was just saying that like, it's a nice area and all that Cottages. good stuff. Cottages. Yeah, very small. Super cute though. But, um, but yeah, got here. Um, at the gate, obviously everybody's looking at us like, you guys are new, so none of you guys' IDs are gonna work. And I'm like, yeah. So, <laughs> but yeah, you know, with new kids on the block, so um, nobody's ID worked except for the drivers, because you know he got in, and I guess he has base access and stuff. So we're driving around. He's showing us like where Malik and the other uh, two people are gonna be working. You know, he's like, "Are you guys cops?" They're like, "Yeah," and he was like, "Okay, so security forces like squadron and like little houses and stuff, and houses Armory. below, you know." Buildings are right there, whatever and stuff. So um, then we pulled up to TLF. Yeah, we stayed at Gateway Inn. It was a great experience. We didn't have Saint at first. Um, if you're wondering who is Saint, Saint's you, boy. Right, if you don't follow his Instagram, it's at Sainty, S A I N T Y, the kitty on Instagram. Um, that's our little kitty. Um, he's only, I think he's eight months now. Yeah. I think he just made eight months. Um, so yeah, uh, that's our little kitty. So yeah, we brought him along. He's an international kitty. <laughs> he had to stay at, I can't remember the kennel's name. Um, they're a really great kennel. I'll link them as well. I'll put their Instagram or Facebook name. I'll put it somewhere down here below. Um, they were really great. They took great care of him for about two weeks. So we didn't have our little kitty for like, as, I think the amount of time that we were in quarantine. So we quarantined for what, 10 days? Yeah. 10 days, it felt like I was in hell. That room was so small, like bed, TV, bathroom that kitchen small kitchen this big that's it my I'm not, way for it sink that's it <laughs> i'm like i'm not trying to talk crap about it or anything it was a good experience it was good but there's only a certain point that you can walk around a cracker box and be like okay like i'm feeling kind of uncomfortable so um and then when we was in quarantine we found out that you can't watch hulu over here yeah so, i was hurt uh disney plus they got different stuff here. Yeah. They got uh like it's certain shows that they don't like they got station 19 in Disney Plus. I'm like, that's not for kids, but hey, yeah, that's weird. I guess so. That's weird. That's weird. Fighting fighters, I guess, you know, they want the kids to see that. If anybody is military watching this, spouse, whoever, you guys are watching this right now and you're wondering, do I have to quarantine all this extra stuff? For right now, I'm gonna tell you right now that for the 10 day quarantine, you have to have a COVID kit or a COVID test um, for whoever's with you. If it's just one of you guys, or if it's two of you guys, you need to have your COVID test in order to come over here. You cannot go through customs and not have your COVID test kit, the little paper that says that you have, I think it's a passenger locator form that we filled yeah, out. You so will you be stuck. Yeah, you have to, and you have to make sure that you send it to the right place. Important, ask your sponsor where that person, you know, he or she wants you to send the dang COVID test to or the COVID kit. The important thing is they ask you, where are you quarantining at? So reading this is like, you know, without talking to your sponsor is like, okay, mm, kind of confusing, but I'm gonna just go ahead. Cause that's, that's super important. You guys have to test day two, day eight. 
I don't know anything about the, I think people can test on day five. Yeah. And they can t like get out of the quarantine. We we couldn't do that. So day two and day eight for us. You have to have all that information. Have all your stuff, all your passports, and have all your stuff, including that passenger locator form. Have all that. I think once you have that, to be honest, you're you're good. You're golden. Once you get through customs and once you have your COVID test, your kits, you're good. Nothing else should be really going wrong in a sense. Um, like Malik said, you just have to go to your briefings. Um, I fell asleep on them. Don't be like me. Um, I can admit that I'm wrong. I can admit my ways, okay? You know how hard it is to sit there and look at a screen and to not get distracted? Oh my God. And then they give us breaks. Like, don't give me no break. Why would you give me a break in a briefing? I'm gonna go to sleep. 10 minute break tells me, oh, I got a 10 minute nap. 10 minute you nap turn into dang then You wake up. Thanks everybody. I'm like, oh my God, bro. We're a hot mess, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, in terms of like the whole experience with TLF, well, that that room, that specific room, since it wasn't a pet friendly room, it was all right. Um, I did kind of have, um, what's it called, cabin fever. I did have cabin fever. Did you have cabin fever while like, you want to go outside? Yeah. You know, yeah. So we both had cabin fever. Um, but then after our 10 days were up, I called the front desk and I asked, um, I asked them if they had a pet friendly room. I remembered in the back of my head that they kept saying, continue to call us and see if we have a pet friendly room available. And so I did, I remembered that and I called and um, they said that they have one. So the next day we went up to Saints uh, little boarding kennel, picked him up and man, I was so happy that day. So um, after that, we had to move rooms uh, when we got Saint. So we got him, moved our room. That day was so busy. Oh my God, the day we got out of quarantine was like the day we got out of freaking jail. Move, 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 move. Oh Here, there, that God. way, that way. He had to walk to the very front gate after we didn't lock all our bags from one area to the pet friendly room. Did y'all hear us? We had to walk to the front gate. Yeah. If you're at Raff Milden Hall and you're watching this, you know what I'm talking about. If you're even in the tri base area, you know what I'm talking about. We had to walk to the front gate. Um, that day I also had a passport appointment, right? Mm -hmm. That day we also moved our things from like basically almost the front, not the front front of base, but like the front or like the middle, it's all the way to the back. Pretty much, that's pretty much it. Um, when we got St. T, we moved into a bigger room. Now if we would have quarantined in that room, I feel like we would have been okay. Um, probably like have the doors open, the windows open and stuff like that, you know, get some more fresh air, take a walk and things like that if we could, but it was way bigger, way bigger. But I guess it's because it was more of like the family rooms, you know, like it was probably like for kids and if you had a pet. So um, yeah, that was a good experience. I don't really have anything to say about it. It was, it was great. I liked yeah. it. It was cool. You know, I had to kill a few spiders, you know, but. It wasn't cool to the end. Is our neighbors? Dumb wow. Dumb wow. Kids screaming, dog barking, they screaming. I cannot do the screaming, the barking, the yelling, the talking. I can't do it all. Yeah. Especially like, on top of me having to wake up early. I got in processing appointments. I got gear issue. I got all of that. And then I'm like, bro, I'm waking up at like four or five in the morning to either kids yipping. screaming or bark. No, I can't do it. <laughs> um, what else? Anything else I should say in the TLF video? I don't think it was like, yeah, we had a good experience, but that was it, pretty much. That's it. That's Only it. because they're the neighbors. But that's just, that's just dumb. Yeah, noisy when, neighbors, when, when, when cabin everybody. fever in the one room, noisy neighbors in the other one. But besides that, it was a good experience. Um, ooh. Also, shout out to Malik's flight sponsor and his wife. They were dropping off groceries to Bad. us. Just Two the goats goat. in the pod. The goat. Two goats in the pod. Yeah, they were they were very lit for that. Like, I appreciate them so much for doing that. And also, shout out to the SF families and stuff that dropped off stuff to us. You know, wives, whoever did it, I appreciate y'all. So, so much, so, so much. That was so sweet. They dropped off a bag at the door, left like a little card for me and everything in there. And that was, that was so sweet. Stay tuned. We're gonna be having some great adventures. Yeah. We're gonna be having some great, great adventures. Um, I'm gonna try to keep most of them vlog style, but if you guys have any questions, um, please let me know. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. Um, let us know what you wanna see. 
Drop it in the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys. Cheers.